shit, they're like in the front lawn woohooing here. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna listen again. We'll, we'll see if he gets pregnant. I'm so excited. Oh my God. There's the baby noise. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it worked. It worked. The fairy magic worked. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play the Sims 3 Supernatural Leprosy Challenge. In the last episode, the honeymooners returned from their trip to France, and then when we came back, everyone pretty much resumed their usual lives. Little Scout here got to go on a walk with Gator. Ross came back and took care of his plants, and yeah, it was just it was just a pretty standard sort of day for those to on the return trip home this house is an absolute disaster and it is very early in the morning we actually have 666 simoleons which <laughs> i don't know how i feel about that but i think i'm gonna have ross come over and take care of the house a little bit like <laughs> there's this giant ash puddle on the floor puddle stain stain is probably the better word for it i think off camera i was like having ross make some dinner or something like that and a fire started so that's why that's there <laughs> I don't think I caught it on camera because I think I was doing it like in between episodes. So there are a few things. I usually have a pretty standard goal when I record these lepasies. My number one goal, of course, is to play out my family's lineage and give them the best lives and most closely represent in like realistic play. As realistic as it can get for The Sims 3 anyway. My other goal usually is to show you guys aspects of The Sims 3 Supernatural in specific. So like if we were playing Showtime, I would focus on stuff that came with showtime if we were playing base game then i would probably try and show the base game <laughs> anyway so across every single season that has pretty much been my primary goal is to make sure i cover every single aspect that came with the sims 3 supernatural now on these expansion packs that are bigger expansion packs like supernatural where there's so much content and across multiple occult life stages and i was having the same thing with late night because late night is also a really big expansion pack came with a new world comes with all those fun townies comes with a lot of gameplay aspects i was i remember having quite a hard time with that too to show off every single aspect that came with that game and i feel the same way this season in supernatural like i kind of skimmed over the stuff for witches which is really sad because penelope was one of our main components to this season of our leprosy so i missed a bunch of witch stuff to that i apologize but now that i'm kind of catching us up because <laughs> i realized that this is like the last five episodes can you guys believe believe it part 45 is going to be our last episode and oh my god jules is trying to get back with penelope the relationship is over i just wish jules mcduff would take a hint and back off comments of penelope bell this whole stalker thing just a little disturbing let me tell you oh my god jules dude she's with a woman now what is wrong with you you freak show you guys already had your relationship run and you cheated on her Jesus. Okay. He's not too bright, is he? Anyways, so the thing I wanted to cover in this beginning part of this episode was, well, I have a, I have a list here of all the stuff that we need to kind of quote unquote get through. It's not like it's like a laborious task or anything. So the first thing I have written down actually is going to be for Gator. And it's, he has a lifetime reward that he can get that is called the Alpha Dog, apparently. I don't think I've ever bought this one before. It's actually called Alpha Wolf, and it says Sims will tremble at your new terrifying howl, while cursed bites and growls are guaranteed to be fearsome. So cursed bite is when a werewolf bites a, just a regular old Sim. It will sometimes transform them into an actual wolf. And if he purchases this, which I'm gonna have him get, every time he bites another Sim as a werewolf, they will automatically turn into a werewolf. Like it's a 100% chance. And I think it wasn't 100% before but now with that lifetime reward it will be now i don't think we're gonna have him do much of like the biting stuff i just don't think that gator is that type of guy i actually was gonna have ross put some of his compost like of a snail we can put a snail in there 
Uh, why don't we also put these toads that we have and we can use those as compost. There we go. Ew, his compost is kind of gross. It's like mushed up snails and frogs. Ew. I'm also going to have him plant these. What are they called? They're called Alver Lineo grapes. So I'm going to put this one over here. These are just the grapes that you can only get in France. So I figured why not? Let's just have him plant some of these down. We'll, we'll see what we can do here. So back to Gator. I don't think he's the type of guy to like go around biting other Sims. Just doesn't seem like it'd be in his personality. His traits for the most part are pretty positive. Angler, excitable, over emotional slob, and social butterfly. There isn't really any trait that's like negative or anything like that. So I don't think it's in his personality by other Sims. This is basically is what I'm trying to say. But he also gets a brand new interaction called Terrifying Howl. And I don't know if this is just when he is in his werewolf form. I would assume it is. So on our next full moon, if I remember, I will have us look over what that is. But anyway, it, it doesn't really add much to Gator because he isn't like the aggressive sort of werewolf. I feel like it'd be more suited for Quinn. I probably should have given this to Quinn, but you know what? I can check that off of my list here. So the next thing that you can get is called the flying vacuum. So it says it's a bird. It's a broom. No, it's a flying vacuum. Step up and ride in the luxury and style that only a vacuum can provide. So obviously this is aimed towards witches. Once again, probably should have shown that off with Penelope, but yeah, Sims will just ride the vacuum and I think it's faster than like your regular old broom the default one that you get. I'm also gonna buy a potter for these brand new Alvarinio grapes that Ross just planted down. His greenhouse is so green and I absolutely adore it. I think it looks so cute in here especially if you put like the walls up. Let me go back in live mode. If you put the walls up and look inside this greenhouse I just think it looks so nice like it's just so cute in there. I love it. Oh my god. Ross having a greenhouse is seriously a must. Like it is totally in his personality type to want and to maintain a garden. Why don't you go and take Scout for a walk, Ross? And in the meantime, we can talk about the final like objects, I guess, that I want to talk about. The unexplored aspects that I failed to cover. Hey, Penelope, she just was brooming by. <laughs> we should get her the flying broom. Then she wouldn't have to ride this shitty one that they give you by default. But look at her. She's just having the time of her life on this broom. How cute. Have fun, Penelope. I'm so happy that you're living your best life. So the last thing that I want to cover is the pea shooter. I don't know how many of you use the pea shooter in your own game. Personally, I do not like the sponsored like tie-ins. I don't like Star Wars Journey to Bat 2. I don't like when games from our world, from outside of the Sims world, bleed into the Sims games. I don't like that. And the only reason that EA does that is because they own these titles and they incorporate and make these tie-in items. So obviously the pea shooter is a reference to Plants vs. Zombies, which is a game that I think is dead at this point. I don't think that the team that was making Plants vs. Zombies is like making other games. If they are, then they must not be popular because I really have not heard anything about Plants vs. Zombies. And I did used to play it when I was a kid. I think it was like free at one point on the Origin store. So at one point I was playing it and I did have it, but... I don't know what happened to that. So he has to go to work at two. His carpool is going to come at two. So I'm going to have him go downstairs and just eat some pancakes. I don't think his energy is very high. Yeah, he didn't get very much rest, which is fine. I mean, his work is like right down the street. So it really shouldn't be that bad, um, right? Oh, it's right across the street. I'm probably going to have him sleep in a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe I'll have him go back to sleep. <laughs> Honestly, that's me. I have woken up sometimes and then I'll like eat something and then I'll lay back in my bed and I'll fall asleep. Like, I don't know how I do that. And it's always when I wake up at like 3 p.m. I'm constantly waking up at 3 p.m. when I go to bed at like 6 a.m. and I'll wake up eat and then go back to sleep like I, I don't know how I do that it, my day is literally consumed by sleeping I get in these like phases where I can sleep for upwards of like 12 hours and when I do that it, I don't know if I've said this before I think I feel like I've said this before in some capacity in these leprosy episodes but I get a giant migraine if I sleep like over 10 or 11 hours around there um like today so for an example it usually happens like on weekends when i don't have classes because i hate to admit it but classes really do regulate my sleep schedule like i have a 10 30 class and obviously i don't have in-person classes but still like logging on to zoom it really does regulate my sleep schedule even though like i could i could honestly keep my video off and i mean some of my professors would care some some of my professors they the second you jump in the zoom room they are like okay everyone turn on your cameras 
Like they are on top of that shit. They really just love to see your shining, beautiful face at fucking crack acid on. Anyway, but yeah, I was I was gonna say that if I sleep for like 12 hours, I get a I get a huge migraine and nothing can get rid of the migraine. Like it just it just permanently stays. It seems the town has needed to offer a loan to Jack Bell after he was unable to pay the family bills. Could be trouble in their future as nothing stops the taxman for long. What? Where did their money go? I think it's because people are breaking off from their household. Like their children are moving out and they're taking too much money with them. So maybe I should go into mover and adjust that. But I thought I was only at like 750 simoleons. Oh, it's at 4,000. Okay, let me turn that down to 750 just so they don't take all of Jack and Ariella's money because Jack and Ariella have a giant household still this late into the season. And I know there's only two people home right now, but if we go into master controller sim, uh, let's just go in advance, edit and cast, we can see everyone. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sims in here. And I think some of them just moved out. Like Valentine just moved out, I believe. Valentine is Warren's twin, and she definitely just moved out. If not, I don't know if it was recent, but still, um, she did move out. So I'm sure she took like uh, quite a bit of money. I always forget to turn that mover value back down to like 750 simoleons. And it ends up biting me in the ass because then you have people like Jack and Ariella who should be rich because Jack still is like level 10 in the singer career. And I gave them multiple things of inheritance. I don't know. It's just a really weird situation all the way around. Also, I just noticed that Gator and Quinn totally work together, which makes sense that they're best friends. That is so annoying adorable oh my god wait that actually makes me so happy that quinn and gator are best friends because they're both werewolves they both you know have some sort of connection to ross like that is his brother-in-law and i love that he just works with him that makes me so happy that at least gator has like one friend at work you know it's always nice when you work with a friend it makes the hours go by really quickly though there are some moments where it can get kind of annoying i feel like i don't know i sometimes i just don't like to be around people for nine hours a day so i feel like it can also like totally destroy your relationship with your friend though like if you're around them for 10 hours a day nine hours a day then there is a chance that you two can get like really sick and annoyed with each other and then you don't want to hang out outside of work and it's just you know that whole situation okay ross has to really go to the bathroom so i'm gonna have him instead of walking a scout home i'm just gonna have him go and fly home i guess oh he's gonna take the teleportation machine i think yep i don't know why they're well, like where where is he gonna teleport out his house is literally right down the street i thought yeah, it's right over here. What? What is the problem? That's so weird. I don't know why he's taking the teleportation machine. Where is he going to teleport to? Maybe he'll tell. Oh, God. He's he just he just canceled it because he has to pee really bad. Dude, are you serious? Okay, go to the bathroom. Go use a urinal. I think because his bladder is so low, he wasn't able to move this door, which will open up to the teleportation machine, I think. So he's just going to run inside the library. I don't think he's going to make it. I honestly think he's going to piss in public, which is going to suck because then he's going to get publicly disgraced. Then he won't get the discounts when we go and buy stuff. It's just gonna be super annoying. Oh, will he make it? <gasps> He's gonna make it. He actually made it. I'm surprised. Good job, Ross. You know, you had to pee really bad. Didn't think you were gonna make it, but here we are. Oh, and Ariel is throwing a party tonight. I don't know why she invited Gator instead of Ross. Maybe she already like assumes that Ross knows he's invited. So she's extending the invitation to Gator as well. But it is at 9 p.m. on a Saturday. Ariella, man, you are awake late at night, Ariella, for a woman of your age. Oh, we're getting our photo taken. Thanks, Joni. Okay, what is with this fucking kid's pink skin? Who is this? First of all, who are you? Giuseppe Swain why is his skin pink i don't hold on let me first and foremost check who his parents are uh just no i don't want to kill him oh my god i almost just murdered him rest in fucking pieces i just want to check out his family tree to see what parent he has that has pink skin so chester and patty are his parents okay i think chester's the one with the pink skin so oh my god and lauren laren lauren how do you say that name also has pink skin is there a way i can like take him in them both into cast i don't think it is oh wait i can enros master controller advanced okay perfect so i'll bring lauren in cast and i'll change their skin i'm not sure if it's a man or a woman i guess we're about to see i think it was a man though so let me let me give him some new skin don't quite know why this happened but um okay also i swear to god i took out my orchard skin like my default swatches because now that i have default replacements like there's no reason to have these swatches i also have some more custom skins maybe i should look more into my other custom skins that i have because i really don't use them and i like 
I like the custom. Wait, is this more orchard skin? I literally can't tell if this is more orchard skin. I, it looks the exact same as the orchard skin. I think it is. I think it might be just different colors. Okay, so, you know, I'm doing my daily charity work of fixing up the bald teenage boys around town. He actually is not too bad looking, which I'm surprised. Though, oh my god, he's gorgeous. Wait a second. He's actually gorgeous. He looks like, I don't know. He's like, looks like he's from Final Fantasy or something. He has a per... Look at his nose. Oh my god. Hold on a second i might need to save him to my sim bin because he's really cute i am i i i i'm speechless i literally don't have words right now i'm gonna make sure his hair isn't gray i think he got gray hair because chester has gray hair but oh my god now that i gave him you know non-pink skin he is super good looking i am fairly surprised that patty and chester had such a beautiful child and i think this is his, is his twin brother i think they're twins so let me change both of them up and i guess if one twin is good looking the other one is probably going to be good looking too right that's how that usually works yeah so they are actually almost identical i think which is crazy to me that that is like a that is a thing that oh his ears are really big i mean i guess if we give him some longer hair that can be covered up but actually they're not identical because the other brother lauren had grayish like black hair and this twin has brown hair so let me just give him something nice they're honestly really good looking though like bro both of them i'm i'm shocked i'm fairly surprised that they made like such beautiful kids though i will say my custom skin and custom hair and default replacements and all that really elevates their appearance to like plus 10. I should probably also remove the pink skin from Chester just because if he has like any other kids they're gonna get it. Oh my god look at him! He's so cute and I don't even know who this is and I'm like freaking out over him. Okay. Gator just got a a toad sold from his inventory i don't know why that happened but okay oh my god ross is thinking about babies oh oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my fucking god guys ross got a wish to have a baby oh my god have his first child congrats ross okay 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 this is a big fucking moment this is a big moment let me tell you why i do a want space play style meaning that i will not have my sims try for a baby unless they explicitly want it even though i wanted ross and gator to have a baby way before this point i resisted because i want my sims to want to do things in their life i want them to control their life i don't want to have to play their life out for them i want them to have some input in their own lives so that's why i was waiting and i kind of knew because ross was family oriented i assumed that he would have this wish to have his first child but now that he actually got it i am so excited to have him start having babies so my official gameplay rule is that i will have my sims try for a baby three times and if they in that three times do not get a baby then they will go and adopt i kind of like deem that the sim is either in fertile or they just weren't able to you know produce a child at that point obviously the storyline for if ross can't have a baby is gonna be different because with a female i'd be like oh yeah maybe she like wasn't producing eggs that month but obviously ross I mean, Ross and Gator, they're both men, but by the graces of fairy magic, Ross is actually able to carry a child. So he will be able to carry a baby. Um, but yeah, once Gator gets out of work, these two are going to fucking hop in bed and woohoo as many times as it takes. I am so excited and happy. Like I was honestly waiting for him to get that wish. And I was just wondering, if, I knew it'd be a matter of time. What is this? It says, love is in the air. They say smell is the strongest sense. Can you smell the love? And that is because because of this incense burner that we got from France, which is so cute. And it says that Gator met all his coworkers, so I'm gonna have him just hang out with them. And he'll probably improve his relationship with Quinn and stuff, which is gonna be really cute. I just love the strong family connections and strong family bonds. It makes me so happy, honestly. We're gonna come over here and rub Scout's belly. Let's also give him, oh, okay, apparently not. Scout was not into the belly rubbing. <laughs> I'm gonna give him some food and I will let him go and sleep. Let's let's let him just go and sleep. Okay, so on also on my notepad here, I know it's 20 minutes into this video, but on my notepad, I also have something else written down. So with the Sims 3 Supernatural came a new addition and like kind of new, just like rabbit hole, I guess. And honestly, I really like it. It just adds a lot of layers, I feel like, to your game. So what got added was in the fairy arbitorium. So obviously this is made for fairies. Fairies also are 
are already get higher skill gain in gardening which is probably why ross's gardening skill is so high and he's only been working at it for like since we've been playing him in gator just solely but you can actually enter gardening competitions so the next gardening competition is tomorrow at noon so we are definitely going to have him go over and enter that now i think they get like money if they win these i'm not exactly sure and i'm not sure if you need to bring your own seeds and that sort of thing i don't think you do i think we'll be just fine if we have him go empty-handed i wonder if there's any lifetime rewards revolving around gardening i don't think there is but there is one for fairies so if you wanted to play like the non-cheaty way of changing your fairies wings you can come down here and buy the king of the fae and it says summon other fairies, change your wing color, shape at will, and make fairy magic less taxing. So I guess this isn't just for changing your wings. I think this is like a hidden trait that will get added to your sim and they'll have like a lot better benefits. Oh my God, look at these fairies are going around him. They're like buzzing around him now. That's so cool. That, I didn't know that happens. Okay, so we can go to fairy wings. We can change our wing color. We can change our wing style. Wow, I didn't know you can change them just like on the spot like this. That is so cool. So he's got these really lux luxurious wings now scout is clearly not all that into ross like he doesn't like him that much i'm gonna have him come over and play some fetch because ross wants to play tug of oh he wants to play tug of war not fetch hold on let's let's play some tug of war then you guys can just raise your relationship how cute oh so here's some more wings that we can do with ross i don't remember what he had before i think these ones are the really tiny ones yeah look at these little tiny nub ones so cute we have the majestic monarch i think we might have had the majestic monarch before i actually don't remember what ross had i should have fucking checked because now i'm just like picking all these different wings maybe i should just go with ones i like actually i think these are the ones he had and yeah he's obviously got like pinkish ones because i wanted to give him pink ones because his favorite color is lilac and we actually have ariella's party to attend to so we're gonna go over there i'm gonna have gator head over by himself and then we're gonna have ross go over there as well for some reason it does not show the party icon over the lot i don't know why that is but i think ariella is having a party i mean i would guess oh gator's annoyed because there's a crying baby on the lot with him i'm sorry gator but you're gonna have to get used to that because ross and you are going to have your first child very soon and also ross could have not have wished for having a child at a better time like this is a perfect time in this leprosy for them to be having a kid and i am so glad that he got the wish because i even wrote down on my notepad you know my trusty notepad that i have right in front of me here where i have all the things that i need to cover i even wrote down risky woohoo on the notepad why why did he get he changed into a werewolf and i don't know why it's not even a full moon or anything like that that's so weird okay well <laughs> i mean i guess oh and the doorbell scared everybody i'm sorry guys didn't mean to scare you what is with this laundry in this house in here do you guys ever do your fucking laundry what is going on oh my god there's just like a bunch of fucking piles of clothes on the floor guys um you dirty bitches jesus so i'm gonna have ross come over i think jack is actually going to man the bars so maybe i'll have ross and gator come and grab a drink i mean we should have them definitely hang out because gator just got out of a long shift at work so i'm gonna have him queue up some darts we'll do it with dallas we'll do it with ariella just have them raise the relationship you know the usual i need some music it's too quiet it's too quiet i don't like the quietness i don't but you know i say that and then i like really don't don't like when it gets super loud oh it looks like who is this this is ursula's here oh my god ursula is the ex fiance i think of oliver we moved her here from starlight shores because they have like a love that transcended boundaries i guess oh my god ross is thinking about more babies oh he really wants a kid i can tell so i don't know how i mean i wish they would fucking hire like a uh, bartender or something because jack is not cutting it. oh jack is making some drinks okay what are you gonna make me jack i think these are just quick drinks i wonder if they'll be like awful quality anyway we gotta it's a family party we gotta get sloshed you know what i mean dallas is over here playing darts with gator and he's having to pee he's like about to damn near piss his pants we should ask jack to join us let's see can we ask him to play darts with us i think i have to greet him first i have to have gator greet him and then they can play darts together it looks like ariel is coming in here to, to play some darts as well quinn got promoted to lion cook congratulations congratulations quinn i wonder if quinn got invited to the party i don't know <laughs> maybe he didn't get invited he's like mom i just got out of a long shift at work like i'm not gonna be able to brag about playing pranks i'm pretty sure ursula does not give a shit if you're playing fairy pranks ross actually since we're here why don't we go over and talk to ariella can we actually join yeah we can join darts so maybe i'll have him join some darts and maybe that'll really raise a relationship between him and his mom because ross does want to become friends with his mother which i think is a really wholesome like wish and want 
and I would like for him to become friends with his mom too. We got a little family bonding moment here and then we got this random kid named Ryan that I think the that I think Jack and Ariella took in. I don't know who the fuck this kid is. Ryan Singh. So I think he's related to some way to Param, which if you guys don't know, Param I was seducing in my not so berry challenge because he is so good looking. So yeah, he is related to Param and Navita, which I can't believe, oh, they're not together anymore. I was gonna say, I was gonna be really surprised if they were still together because star progression has a strange way of breaking couples up at like the drop of a hat. I'm not surprised they're not together anymore. Okay, wait, what are you doing? Oh, should, he's going over to tell Valentine a funny story. How nice is that? So this is Valentine. I was just talking about her earlier in this episode, but I think that she's so pretty and and she does need a little bit of a makeover, I will agree with you guys, and I know that she does. But I think she was the last baby that was born before we moved out of the Bell household, because as you guys know, I was getting a little overwhelmed, I won't even lie. Gator is getting a call on his phone, so I'm gonna have him answer. Oh, he's trying to greet Jack. Marcy Sumari wants to chat. Who is Marcy? Is he related to Marcy or something like that? He's not related to Marcy. I guess he maybe she's just giving him a call, asking about how his life is. I think they went to high school together, if I am correct. So she probably wants to catch up with him or something. We really need Bone Hills. I'm going to waken her. I don't know if it'll bug up because I'm not in the household. Oh, Ross actually wants to learn mixology skills. So I'm going to have him awaken Bone Hilda and then have him go over to the professional bar, I guess. Oh, who is this? Aspen. Aspen is a teenager and she's over here just making drinks drinks i mean i guess she is a vampire so she does live forever she probably has no perception of what being a teenager is because she just lives forever okay where is jack at by the way is he still here he's probably fast asleep guarantee oh that loud music let me just uh turn that off skip the song for it oh wait the teens are back maybe they did they just come back from prom it's so weird how colette and Bryn have like the same exact face and the same exact hairstyle they really do look like triplets i mean they're related obviously can i clean these clothes up is there a way i can get rid of these clothes piles because i don't think Bone Hilda does laundry. Honestly, same. I can't delete this object. I can't delete it. Maybe move it to family inventory, but does that move it to my household inventory? Yeah, it moves it to my fucking household inventory. Can I just sell it? No, I, it will let me sell the dirty clothes. Okay. Um. Well, thanks for your dirty clothes, Jack and Ariella. Really appreciate it. Wonder if I can like shift click with testing cheats enabled on and like delete it yeah i can delete it that way okay great <laughs> i'm glad i finally got rid of these clothes because bone hilda for whatever reason does not do laundry she that's one thing she will not do is take care of kids and do laundry so i guess i'm just gonna just shift click delete it we thought it would be best donnie mcduff was heard to say after all he's over here most of the time anyway introduced penelope bell the two sims are now living together what so Donnie moved in with Penelope's household? I guess so. Oh no, affections appear to be developing between local sims Janet Pock and Theo Bell after they were heard openly commenting on each other's mad kissing skills? What? Oh my God. Theo is cheating on Cassandra, I think is what I'm getting. Okay, can Jack get out of the fucking bathroom? Why is he in there? I don't know. Okay, now he's out. Jesus Christ, talk to him. Talk about your wealth, which you really do not have. You only have 734 simoleons. Talk about the oh my god everyone's peeing <laughs> dallas just pissed himself oh my god there's like piss puddles all over the floor oh he just ran away he's like i'm so embarrassed whatever bone hilda will clean up the piss puddles let's talk about the singer career because obviously we know jack is a singer we can talk about what other skills does jack have i think he has athletic skill i would think jack has like every single fucking skill in the book because he seriously has been alive for so long so i wouldn't be shocked if he did oh wait where is ariella is she here somewhere so ross wanted to gain mixology skills so i let him so now he has one mixology skill which is actually really nice i wonder if ariella will let us spend the night over here at the house i don't know oh she's downstairs in the bathroom okay um i'm gonna have ross come on downstairs here's this damn crib i'm gonna delete it i forgot that you can shift click on items the testing cheats enabled on and just delete it i forgot that was a thing oh and jack is asking gator if he wants to be friends so yes let's have these two become friends that's nice i love the like family connections and stuff that's really wholesome wait here's warren let's see what warren aged up to look like oh he's a cutie oh he's a cutie he looks like his dad but he's got his mom's skin tone he's really attractive he's really attractive i mean honestly i'm not i'm really not that surprised like most if not all the bell kids are attractive 
I don't know who's the ugliest bell kid, to be honest with you. I think that they're all pretty damn good looking, but maybe we can say that Oliver, their firstborn, is the weak link because everyone always talks about how he's got that like muddy brown hair, <laughs> the mutated genetic muddy brown hair it is kind of weird i think that the bells make stronger girls though than they do boys am, am i far off in thinking this i mean valentine's gorgeous yasmin's like they had a really good line of attractive girls they had like five attractive girls in a row they had valentine yasmin zora aspen Bryn, and colette all of them of which are beautiful like absolutely gorgeous but i don't know i uh i personally think that oliver might be the weak link here by the way ulysses is like a young adult i think at this point ulysses was oliver's kid with bianca remember that crazy bitch bianca in the beginning of this season crazy how far we've come right but also let me just show the rest of oliver kids because i don't really think we paid much attention so we have ulysses which if you guys need a refresher child with bianca then he went over to mare to ursula sorry i just called i just called her marigold not marigold ursula and ursula was at this party here i think someone might be friends with her like maybe jack and ariella or something is friends with ursula still i'm not sure i think jack is from way back from starlight shores but they had lail together and she's perfectionist inappropriate adventurous and bookworm and i can't see her very well but she does look very pretty he also has bernadette which he had with Haley samari and then he's also got chrissy who he also had with Haley samari and by the way they are once again broken up i feel like every time i turn around oliver and Haley are just broken up i don't know what's going on there but best of luck to them i guess oh no warren's insulting us what a dick why warren what did we do to you oh they are not having a good time he's expressing his humiliation he's like i am so embarrassed that you just yelled at me i'm gonna have gator come over and drink a latte gator wants to hang out with quinn that's so cute oh they're really best friends it makes my heart like so full i think i might ask ariella and jack if ross can sleep over ross and gator i don't know is she still in the basement they don't sleep because they are vampires where did they go oh they're rocking in the chair and it looks like ariella's pissed off because she was about to sit over in this chair i'm gonna have ross come on down here to the basement and i'm gonna have him i can't ask her if i can sleep over i don't know why maybe tell her a joke uh let's see if we can ask her about her day he does want to become friends with his mom again so i'll let him do that i'll just have him compliment her party and do all that sort of stuff we'll just let them get all friendly and for some reason ross can talk about jack bell's other relationship i don't know what relationship that is maybe the one with bianca like 20 years ago do you guys remember that oh my god that was crazy when oliver had just gotten with bianca i think it's because she has commitment issues she actually started to lust after oliver's dad jack who was our heir last generation which is so fucked up because she was currently dating all Oliver, pregnant with his kid Ulysses at that time yet she casts a love spell on Jack this happened in the beginning of this season was one of the craziest fucking things I have ever seen in the entirety of this game and I don't know if I will ever be able to like accurately recreate that situation because it was seriously one of the most crazy things I have ever seen in The Sims 3, but it was amazing and like the storyline was so strong and I really enjoyed it. Ross wants to become friends with Stefan, his older brother, that's cute. Anyways, I am going to have Gator, where are you? I'm like trying to have us use all of their facilities because obviously once we go back to our house, it's like really small and tiny. Is there any other skill building objects here that I need or that I can use. I think they're gonna let us sleep over. I mean, I don't have like the ass to sleep over button, but I believe we can do that and they won't yell at us. I'm not sure though. Ariella and Ross are just chatting. They're debating some politics because <laughs> obviously Ariella, she used to be a really prolific politician in Starlight Shores and then she kind of started her family and she retired, but now she's back in politics, I guess, which is cool. Anyway, um let's see what we can do here what else oh we should have gator and Ross woohoo yeah now i kind of wanted them to woohoo in one of the new locations for supernatural which is the wardrobe but they don't have a wardrobe on this lot so i guess our next best option is to come out here to the treehouse 
which is really weird because Ross grew up like playing in that treehouse in the backyard and now he's gonna go and do it with his husband in the treehouse. I, I don't know. Oh my God, Gator wants to kiss Ross. That's so cute. Gator, you're so wholesome. Can I transform you back into a human? God damn it. Yeah, I can transform him back into a human. So I'm just gonna have him do that. I don't know why he transformed into a werewolf in the first place. I think Ross is gonna pass out because he just transformed in front of him. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, that's cool. Well, I thought he was gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna have Gator go and kiss Ross because he has a wish to, to do that. He also wants to watch the stars with him. So cute. I think instead I'm gonna have them go up into the treehouse instead of having them like sit here and do a bunch of foreplay um, because Ross is super exhausted and we need to kind of get the show on the road. So I'm gonna have them go and try for their first baby. Oh my God, I am so excited. I am literally so excited, guys. This is the moment. Ross and Gator are going to perhaps conceive their first child in Ross's childhood treehouse. Honestly, iconic. <laughs> <laughs> could not have seen this coming from a mile away but here we are all right guys have your fun i'm gonna listen carefully we'll hear we'll listen no i didn't hear any baby chimes which hmm, i'm so sad about but okay so that was their first woohoo so that's strike number one if they cannot conceive a baby after three woohoos then i'm going to deem that ross cannot get pregnant via fairy magic that the fairy magic and the cars are just not aligning oh we just got kicked out of their house okay um that's nice wait why can gator woohoo that's so weird okay wait should we have him try again <laughs> Should we have him try again in this little fairy house? Coincidentally, this is also the fairy house that Ross was sleeping in his entire childhood years. So, I mean, everything is just coming full circle right now. I don't know why Gator is able to woohoo in this treehouse when he obviously himself is not a fairy, but I'm okay with it. I mean, if he can use it, well, let, let's try again. We're gonna try again one more time. Try for a baby. We're gonna have both him and Gator try for a baby in Ross's childhood fairy house. It is five in the morning. Hopefully no one comes outside and uh, tries to interrupt them. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. I think everyone in the house is pretty much asleep. Though this is like quite a brazen place to have them do this. I mean, shit, they're like in the front lawn woohooing here. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna listen again. We'll, we'll see if he gets pregnant. I'm so excited. Oh my God. There's the baby noise! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it worked! It worked! The fairy magic worked! They did it twice in one night. I mean, I did say that they were gonna go crazy once Gator got back from work, and I thought it would be at their house that they would conceive a baby, not in Ross's, you know, childhood places, like his treehouse and his fairy house, but okay. I mean, it works with me. A baby is a baby, whether it's conceived in a dumpster or conceived in the most expensive bed in the buy catalog. I mean, a baby is a baby. I'm gonna send everybody off to bed. It is like five in the morning, almost six in the morning. I think Ross does not have work today, which is nice. He still has four days off. He actually wants to use a charming introduction on somebody. I don't know why. I think it's because fairies automatically get higher charisma gain, which is pretty cool. And maybe he just wants to like raise his charisma i'm not sure why he wants to use a charming introduction oh wait is he charismatic i think it's because he's charismatic yeah he's charismatic and he's friendly so that's pretty much like a perfect combination for him to be like the most outgoing person on planet earth which is cool anyways guys i'm going to end this crazy episode here a ross gator baby is currently in the works i am so excited and this could not have been better timing i think had we not had them conceive a baby in this episode the timing would have not worked out for the heir to be born before the last episode of this generation so i believe the baby will be a toddler on our final episode of this season but i will catch you guys all in the next one i'm so excited for ross to get his baby bump i've also never done a male pregnancy via story progression without seasons think about that male pregnancy comes with seasons like the male abduction by aliens and stuff but i don't have seasons installed yet so i don't know how this is gonna work i guess you'll find out in the next episode i will catch you guys all up there and peace out